So I decided to, you know, do the little I could to just sort of launch myself into that space. So after I graduated, I started using my Twitter to just, you know, tweet about women's football. If there were any matches I came across and I watched, just tweet comments. And doing that, I sort of just built uh, a network of similar people uh, all over the world, a football fanatic. And I'd been want, wanting to do, you know, a podcast, something to talk about, you know, women's football in Ghana and also in Africa, just to, you know, help uh, to promote the game across the continent. More than half of the pundits are men. A lot of the journalists, top, top journalists are men, right? So it's, I think in recent years that women are now breaking through in that space. And I think in Ghana is the same. We have quite a lot of journalists covering men's football, you know, other sports, women's football. A majority of them are, are men. There is kind of a disparity, but I think it's also quite, uh, the gap is, is closing quite quickly. And in Ghana, we are seeing that as well. You know, experience matters, right? If you want to do something, you just can't just sit there, then all of a sudden you become the thing. You have to get the experience. And I think uh, podcasting sort of gives, gives, gives that as well. So I, and um, I listen to quite a lot of women's football podcasts and I listen to as well. And they're all sort of like led by women, right? So I think um, that obviously has provided some sort of alternative space for, for women in media to, you know, break into the media space. And so when um, I wanted to do this, I didn't want to do something that everyone was doing. I was like, huh, podcasting. I don't really know of any podcasts, at least local podcasts is doing this, you know, talking about women's football or women's sports in general. So maybe that's something different we can do.